Hey guys, it's Joe Carroll here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a mix engineer, recording engineer, producer, and uh, I'm here today on behalf of my friends with Strymon Guitar Pedals. Now you may wonder why is a guy who is probably a hat guitar player here on behalf of a guitar pedal company? And the question is real easy. I'm a huge fan of guitar pedals and I bring them into my productions and into my mix process. I have a collection of about 30 that range back all the way from the 70s until today. I plug those in on about anything you can imagine, distortion, you know, delays, compressors, very various things that not only are fun because I, you know, get to have hands on, but more importantly than that, we can create sounds and create moments in our music that aren't available any other way. You know, there's just not plugins that do what some of these guitar pedals do. Up until today, I was really excited when Strymon contacted me about beta testing the Big Sky Reverb, which is crazy cool. Let me just assure you that this is an incredible piece that you're going to want to demo, right? At the very least, you're going to want to try this guy out. Very unique, crazy unique. Not only a good enough of a reverb to use on, on stuff like lead vocals and snare drum and, and obviously guitars, as one would expect, but it has some crazy features. So that, you know, they're, they're really outside of the box of what, you know, any other uh, reverb plugin we may own does and we can create special moments within our tracks on background vocals and lead vocals just just like moments that that other things don't do that are crazy fun all right let's dive in all right one thing you can probably tell from the tone of my voice and the amount of smiling that i'm doing is i'm really pumped and excited about this plugin so let's take a look at the uh, gui here and you can see it looks a lot like the pedal uh, a lot of the same knobs same color of the brushed aluminum looks great but over here on the left hand side are the 12 different types of reverbs and ambience that we have. And you can see there's a whole selection of them. The options are so endless on this thing, but I think we'll probably literally only have time to scratch the surface of five or six of the reverb types that are in here. And within each type, there's crazy amounts of, uh, you know, adjustments that we can make to make, you know, create something entirely new and radically different than uh, the other option would have been. So uh, what I did is I pulled up a song from an artist that I produced last year. Her name was Missy, M-I-S-Y. So give her a big shout out. This is her song, Mr. Mysterious. And let me play you just a little bit of it, okay? Mr. Mysterious, what you doing in these parts? Bet those good looks have wrecked a million hearts and you smell sweet. Okay, so obviously, you know, thinking vintage, I think spring. And let me play a little bit of the raw guitar because we recorded it very, very raw. Uh, so I would have room, um, you know, to, to treat it during the mix. So here's the raw sound. <laughs> And I chose the combo, uh, number three. Again, so there, you have four different types um, along with three different uh, subtypes, if that's what you want to call it, as well as all our um, choices up here. So th there's a crazy you know, number of sounds we can get. And just kind of think of this as getting from, you know, obviously very clean on the left to the more saturated, distorted, overdriven, you know, as we, as we go to the right here. L let me play you, um, I'm going to bypass it and then I'm going to activate it. And I have this directly on the insert, uh, just kind of playing around, all right? Okay, so that's a crazy great sounding uh, spring reverb. I, I, I love that. And it, and it fits exactly what I wanted to do uh, for this song, you know, the kind of, kind of vibe that it needed. And let me show you just real quick, I kind of, um, I'm going to play, I'm going to turn the mix knob up a little bit uh, too hot and uh, select through the, a couple of the different types just so you can see the crazy number of choices that we have just within the spring setting itself, let alone the others. So the sky is the limit. All kinds of, from the cleanest spring, it's clean, clean and short, uh, all the way up to, to just nasty distortion. So that uh, is what I did uh, for the verse guitar. Let me go up here to the chorus and show you a little bit of the uh, sound that we have going. So that is, uh, I, I chose the Magneto. So think of that as like a, a bunch of tape, uh, you know, like a multi-head tape machine uh, type reverb where there's a bunch of echoes 
uh, in secession that create the, the, the reverb wash. And, um, I chose, um, the, the four heads with the even spacing here. Let me turn it off so you can hear the guitar by itself. Now with the big sky. That's freaking cool. You know what? You heard it <laughs> right here. So uh, that's, you know, just a couple, again, because it's Strymon, mean, you, you think of guitars, but man, this guy can do so much more. So let me, let me play a little bit of that chorus right here. Mr. Mysterious, you just shook my world, now I'm delirious. Okay, that vocal sound that you're hearing, that is the Strymon as well. So I muted the reverbs that I was using. And I put up the Strymon and I went to a plate setting. So, you know, most of the time when you think of guitar pedal reverbs, uh, you know, it, it, they, they really do a couple things really, really well. But what makes the Strymon unique, the Big Sky unique, is that it does, it, it is so high end and that it does a bunch of things well. So listen to what it will do on this reverb uh, on the vocal plate reverb here. Mr. Mysterious, you just shook up my world. Mr. Mysterious, you just shook up my world, now I'm delirious, thinking So you can see that I uh, just added just a touch of pre-delay, uh, turned the tone towards the darker side just a little bit, but then also added some low end, trying, trying to kind of thicken up the plate. I chose the large option. Just, uh, just for grins and giggles here, what I'll do is I'll switch in real time with the, with the vocal soloed to the small plate and turn the to tone back a, a little brighter and you can kind of hear that in action, okay? Mr. Mysterious, you just shook up my world, now I'm delirious, thinking I could be your girl. All right, that is a great sounding plate. Not many reverb uh, pedals that you would think about can do that kind of thing. That's why the Strymon is such a you know massive success. It is good at everything just about that you throw at it and and worthy of standing right up beside you know hardware units like this guy as far as the plate type sounds that it has it's that high of a quality now that we've covered some standard stuff like guitars and vocals uh i pulled up a song that i mixed for a friend of mine jackie rain out of los angeles a uh, great pop artist wonderful voice and this is a song called uh, up for life uh, and it was a it was tremendous fun and when i got this uh plug in i thought this would be a great one to experiment with because the, the song has it has space uh, that allows a, a, a plug-in uh, like this to kind of um, really, really show. I've used it in a lot of spots, and I, 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 instead of, you know, the traditional send return, um, I muted some of my reverbs that I actually used during the mix and have put this on direct inserts uh, just, to, just to make sure a lot of mix guys, you know, uh, right here, this knob right here, if you use it on a send return, you're going to want to turn that all the way up, right, 100% wet. Um, but let's get the vibe of the song, okay? You always play like you don't care about me. You don't care. Like I'm the one who's running around for free. You know I'm running around. Okay, so much of what you're hearing that going on right there that's uh, that's very cool is the Strymon. And l let's just go back to the top. And I want to show you there's this patch and it takes uh, early room reflections and, and you can you know, put yourself uh, in, you know, put your, the source in various locations around the room. And so what I did is I just put it in automation mode and started dragging this guy around, you know, from the front of the room to, on the left side to the back of the room to the, you know, uh, on the right side. I just, just made a big square in real time, kind of rhythmically. And check out what it did to the intro, okay? Now that's cool. You hear it? Yeah, it, it kind of, the, the, the synth is kind of moving, you know, kind of moving around, but not just based on tempo. It, it's, it's me. It's me moving the knob in real time. It was tremendous fun. So let's take a look at uh, another thing on the intro here. And that is this guy right here. And this is the bloom setting. And this, this is, you know, some, uh, the further you get up into this range right here on the top is the, the more what I, you know, would consider the more wild or patches that uh, really shows off in, 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 in songs like this. So let me show you this, um, um, this synth patch, which is really cool, uh, on its own with no reverb.
So getting louder and kind of morphing as we go. So now I'll let you hear it. Uh, let me let you hear it with Bloom, okay? Listen to that tail. I mean, that that is stunning. Uh, that, that is crazy cool. So uh, another patch that I want to show you, on, on this um, mix, originally in the verse, the vocals were reasonably dry. So I thought that would be a really good way to test out the, um, the room sound here. And you can see within the room sound, you can, you can change between a club and a studio. And I'm going for the smaller studio space, only about a second of, of reverb here. So um, let me play you the voice dry, and then I'll turn the Strymon on, and we can hear the quality of the room patch. You always play like you don't care about me. Like I'm the one who's running around for free. Cool. You'll see on the tone, I kind of brightened it up a little bit from the default and kind of removed some low end. And uh, let me put that in the track just so you can kind of hear it one more time. You always play like you don't care about me. You don't care. Like I'm the one who's running around for free. Okay, you're no doubt hearing what I'm hearing. That is an incredible room patch. Uh, again, I've got a, a thousand of them, and, but this one is going to definitely find itself uh, a home in my mixing. Let's listen, uh, move up here to the, the, the uh, pre-chorus. I did a little bit of a different thing. Let's bring that up. And I'll, I'll let you hear it in the mix for just a second, and then I'll solo it up, okay? And this is uh, her vocal going through the bloom patch. All right, so I wanted her voice just to throughout the the uh, the pre-chorus. I wanted it to just just get huge right before we had that huge uh, chorus hit. So um, let me show you the uh, soloed up. Here's here's her voice. I've made up my mind. Here is with Bloom. Now here, here's what I would do. If I had a little more time, I would take and automate the mix and I would turn the beginning of it down. And as this pre-chorus hit, by the end of it, I would be slamming and the bloom would just be literally blooming. Check this out. Yeah, man. During the verses, there's this cool little background vocal thing. And I wish I wish I had Big Sky on the... the Jackie, I apologize. Uh, you're going to like this better than what I gave you originally. Um, but just hire me again because I will use this on your, ne <laughs> on your next song. So here's this background vocal moment, okay? You don't care about me. You don't care. It's pretty cool dry, but check this out. So I brought up the Big Sky. And I went to the Shimmer patch. Now, Shimmer is, is super cool. So, uh, so not only is, can, can you create some crazy long reverb tails, but it'll also add pitches to it. You see here, I, I'm adding like a, a full octave up. And uh, I think when I, when I put this guy in solo, you're, you're going to hear um, just how unbelievably cool this patch is. You don't care. Check that out. And now let me put that in the track. That is wicked awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of play with the knobs in real time on, these, on this background vocal so you can kind of hear um, just how, how crazy you can get, you know, with, with a patch like this. You don't care. 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 It, it's, it's just amazing. You can create such crazy effects, like, you know, pop music like, like this. You know, uh, a lot of times we as mixers, 
uh, get paid for that kind of stuff. You know, create, you know, maybe the kick drum sound that we come up with isn't much different than anybody else's. Maybe the ultimate vocal sound as far as the top end EQ and stuff really isn't much different than, you know, mixer number B or whatever. But what can make us different is when moments hit in a chorus or moments hit in a pre-chorus or whatever, it's like, wow, like that took it to a whole new level. Like that guy is a creative genius. What allows, you know, sometimes uh, guys like me to 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 steal the show for a second, become the hero uh, to the artist is having plugins with this kind of creativity built into it. If I didn't have this kind of a tool, I probably would have never even thought of that. But literally, I'm sitting here demoing this thing, playing with presets, and all of a sudden it's like, my god that is the sickest thing in the world like i gotta put that on this vocal here and hear it and i and and you know i i believe if you give this thing a try it's going to make that kind of a difference to your own productions and um um you're you're, you're just going to really really want to demo this guy mm -hmm. 